Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today I will be talking to you guys about the four moms mama rule. Now I know for the past few years that has been the latest craze and for many families it has been a hit or miss when it comes to their newborns. So I took the plunge and decided to buy the mama rule this time around because my other children were used to those bulky Graco swings and while they are super convenient and I loved those swings for my kids because it put them right to sleep all the time, they are pretty bulky and because we are in an apartment now with three kids and now four, I figured that it would be better to try something more, something more convenient for the space that we have. So I decided to get the Mamaru. I fell in love with it because it's modern looking, it's small, it's sleek, and it, the price wasn't too hefty, but it is still a little up there. So I could see why a lot of people wouldn't want to take the risk in getting it. So I'm going to tell you guys how the Mamaru ended up working out for us and what tips you can do to help your child get adjusted to the Mamaru. So stay tuned. So one, one of the biggest complaints that I noticed when I was looking at reviews on the Mama Rule were people complaining about how their newborns would not want to stay in the Mama Rule. Now that is true, but what made me decide to still go with it is newborns have trouble staying everywhere. When they're born, they just want to be cuddled all the time. They want to be held. They like to be swaddled and the mama room is not really a convenient place to swaddle them in. You gotta work it, work your way into getting them swaddled. So that's the issue when it comes to that. So I decided that there must be some type of workaround with that if that were the case, but I would try it out either way. In the first few days of life for little baby Ari, we had the same issue. She did not want to be put down in the mama room and she will not and she would not stay in there for long periods of time. Granted, she's still not staying in there for long periods of time. However, I can get her now to stay in there for a good 5 to 15 minute window. So here are a few tips. So tip number one is make sure your newborn is warm and wrapped up. Newborns release heat from their heads. So always make sure they have on a hat and make sure they're either dressed warm or swaddled. Granted being comfortable enough in the room, to, in the temperature of your room, but you still want to make sure that they're snug and comfy when you put them in the swing. Also make sure they're calm, make sure they're well fed, make sure they have their diaper changed and they're not cranky and don't need anything else. Once I made sure all those things were done, I will be comfortable in the swing between that window from five to 15 minutes. And if she's really comfortable, she'll even sleep in there and give me a good 20 to 30 minutes to get things done if I'm lucky on those days. Another tip that you can do is adjust the swing so that it's laying down like a bassinet. I really love that feature because I was able to even put Ari on her tummy and wrap her up the way she likes to be wrapped up to sleep. And she will sleep for a good 30 to 45 minutes. Those were really, really lucky days. Now she is becoming more alert and we're going through another transition where she won't sit in the swing for as long. However, it's the same thing. Babies go through different transitions. They want to do different things, but for the most part, it has been working for us. And the best thing is it's not taking up a lot of space where 
it bothers me if she's not using it for a good amount of time. So being that I do have a newborn, she's just one month old now, I did go ahead and purchase a newborn insert to go with the mama room. I love it because you can choose different colors. It's reversible. I haven't reversed it to the other side yet because I just like a little pop of color. I did go with the black option as it goes with the aesthetic of my other furniture in the house. And that's also another thing that I liked where you had different plain options to choose from and then you can add the pop of color with the insert. So I really love that modern sleek design. The little toys, if you notice in the little toys that come at the top of the Mama Roo, they have colors on one side and black and white on the other side. Newborns can mainly see black and white when they're just born. So I love that I am able to flip them over to the black and white side in their first few months of life and then switch it back over to the colors as she gets older. So I look forward to that when she starts getting a bit older and more active. And I hope to do another review of the Mama Roo at that stage. I also love the app that it comes with. So I can literally just go on my phone, find the Four Moms app, click on my Mama Roo, and instantly turn it on. And as you can see, the swing will start. And then you can also control the different settings. So we haven't really found a set setting that Ari likes yet, but again, she's young, she's a newborn. So you have car ride kangaroo. And as you can see, it's very responsive when it comes to clicking it. And when you're done, you just hit the off button and there it goes, it's off. So I really love that about it. And then you can also turn it on with your toes. I felt like that was really cool too if I'm rushing and need to put her down and my hands are full. Nice feature. Oh my gosh, it's so crazy. The day I sat down to edit this video, Chase put the baby down next to me in the swing and she was just enjoying herself. So you guys can see that she's growing and evolving with the mama boo. And right here, she's so happy with the toys. So guys, if you're thinking about investing in the mama boo, I went for it. It's totally up to you on what you decide to do. I'm just here to give you pointers and tips on what works for me and why I like it. So, so far, I really like it. I can't wait till she gets bigger and is more interactive. Just remember, newborns don't really need much in the first few stages of life and it's trial and error when adjusting with them. So there will be a few things that you might invest in that don't end up working for you. And there are gonna be a few things that do end up working for you. I took the plunge and I'm glad I did and decided to purchase the Four Moms Mama Group. I will insert a link down below on where I got mine. They're a little bit pricier in the store. I was able to get mine for a better deal on Amazon. So I will drop that link below if you guys are interested in purchasing it for your little babies. I thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a thumbs up. Send me a comment down below. If you already have the Four Moms Mamaroo and you just happened to watch the video, then let me know how you like yours. Or if you decide to go and purchase the Mamaroo, come back to this video and let me know how it worked out for you. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this content. I hope you do and I hope you become a part of the family. If you do choose to subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss any content that's posted. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Toodles. Bye.